hi there and um, Merry Christmas. It's Christmas Eve here and uh, looking forward to a lovely evening tonight. Uh, having dinner with some friends here in LA. How are you all doing guys? What a beautiful day. Today's an interesting topic I'd like to talk about and one which um, you might feel a little bit um, resistant or you might uh, think oh my god that's a little bit like me and I think to be honest we've all been there me especially I hold my hand up and what what this topic of conversation is going to be about is something quite raw that will maybe make you feel a little bit angry or you might even want to switch it off because you might start to think uh, bad of yourself but don't because um, it's nothing to do with you it never is it's to do with our childhood and how we've been brought up by a system and our parents 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 so don't ever hurt yourself by thinking there's something wrong with you and that's a really really good point there's nothing wrong with you there never is the only thing is that we need to see what we do, our reactions, to be able to conquer them. If you don't see your reactions, you'll never change. You'll you'll be the same person. So we need to recognize our reactions. And last night, I reacted in a way that I had to shake myself and think, wow, wow, I've just seen what I've done. And that was a beautiful moment for me to be able to grow again, yet again, grow and grow. So what's today's topic about? Wow, I don't know how to put this into a sentence, but have you ever been with people that everything is gloomy? Everything's gonna go wrong. My life's miserable. Everything, I feel miserable. Um, it's all gonna go wrong. Nothing's going right. And they never seem to be happy. I remember reading for one gentleman uh, many, many years ago who came to me and was absolutely petrified about his life. He was worried about everything. And I sat in front of him and I turned some cards over and said, nope, everything looks fine. No, no, it's all gonna go wrong, everything. And it was, it was, I think it was a sale of a car, which was a very big car he was selling. And um, everything was going wrong and it wasn't gonna sell. The guy was backing out and I really need this sale because I put a deposit down on another uh, car and everything's going wrong, Matt. And I said, no, everything looks fine. And, you know, it looks okay. And he just didn't listen. It was just panic, panic, panic. So I gave him a healing session. He felt a lot better, went on his way. And of course, the car sold. And then he came back again, uh, maybe three or four months later. And then there was another issue with his house. His house was falling down and he wanted to sell it. Nobody would buy it. And I need to sell it. I need to leave here and move to a different part of Spain. And I said, well, it looks like your house is going to sell. No, it's not. Everything's going to go wrong. Well, it looks fine to me and it looks like you're going to get a buyer. And of course, about um, three or four months later, he got a buyer and he sold the house. He came back to see me again. And the next thing was his problem with his life. His life was all going wrong. He didn't meet anybody. He couldn't meet anybody. And everything was going r really bad. And I said, well, let's stop for a minute. And let's just look at from the first moment we met each other. Do you recall the first time you you saw me yes do you remember why you came yes and I said and what you felt in that that moment of coming was fear and worry do you remember yes oh thank God for that yeah everything went okay and I said do you remember saying to me that it wouldn't he said yes yes I'm yeah uh, oh yeah yeah and I said and do you remember the second time you came to me do you remember um yeah 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 and I said and now looking back how do you feel about yourself looking at yourself at those moments how do you feel and he said I feel embarrassed I feel you know and and but but it's just who I am I said ah now then it isn't who you are I said it's your thought process we all go through this we all say oh it's gonna go wrong that's the first thing we do and I think the reason one of the reasons why we do that guys is because it's almost like a protection or well, if it goes wrong, I, or, I already said it was going to go wrong, so I was right. So it's almost like saying, you'd rather say it's going to go wrong. And if it does go wrong, then you feel better because you've said it's gone wrong, because you already knew it was going to go wrong. Instead of saying, everything is going to be fine, it's going to go right. What the fear there is that if you say that, that if it goes wrong, then you're wrong. And there is something in this, guys. I think a lot of us live off that energy of, a real low cesspit vibration that everything's wrong and I 
feel bad and everything is going to go wrong and I'm never going to meet anybody. And you know, that energy, I realized I was living in that energy for many years and things never went right. Well, they're not going to go right because if that's all I'm projecting to the world and to myself, basically all I'm doing is confirming that everything's going to go wrong when in fact it doesn't go wrong. But actually, if you look at the bigger picture, even if it goes right, it goes wrong because you're living in that fear and worry all the time. So the next thing comes along, even if the last thing goes right, you're looking at the next thing as wrong and everything is going to fall apart and my life's ugly this and light. And then all of a sudden, oh, I'm never going to meet a man or I'm never going to meet a woman because everything's going wrong and, 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 and then they meet somebody and then the next thing they say is, oh, he's not going to love me because I'm like this and like that. And it's always, always fear-based. So basically, we live either in positivity or we live in fear. And it's as simple as that. Let no psychiatrist tell you any different. It's as simple as when you were young, you heard this from many people. And you have to change the chip. You have to change the way you behave because of that. And that's the challenge. That's the hard thing. Because we've been so programmed to thinking that it's a natural reaction. It isn't who we are. It's the brain, this tool that kicks in instantly. And it's all fear-based. So I think what we need to do is we need to change the way we react we need to stop before we say something and look at the positive. Try to find the positive and try to trust in your future. I mean, look, you, you know, I say to people, all the pain and suffering that you've been through, you're still here. So you're going to be here in the next 10 years. You're going to be here watching this in 10 years and I'm going to be talking to you in 10 years. Okay. And you're going to be sat there watching this. So now you know everything is going to be fine because you're going to be here in 10 years watching this. What are you going to do with these next 10 years? Are you going to live your life like you did for the past years in fear? Or are you going to say, you know what? Now that I know I'm going to be here in 10 years, how am I going to live the in-between? How am I going to now change my life and have a good time, have fun, trust myself, go for walks, eat properly, look after myself, believe in love, get myself out there, mix and, and say positive things to myself, be kind to myself, to treat myself, do things that are positive for me and really truly believe in a magical future. That's what I would say. Change your life today. I don't care about Christmas guys. I don't care about the new year. They're just words and uh, ways of making you spend a fortune. That's nothing to do with this. This is about each day that you live your life. It isn't about your birthday. It isn't about Christmas. It isn't about special occasions. It's not about the full moon. It's about every single day you wake up. From that moment you wake up to put a smile on your face and believe in your life and say I'm happy for no reason because the moment that you find your happiness for no reason is the moment you have conquered your life and your fears and your worries. And that's the key to life. We're always looking for something to find our happy, happiness by. So I am finding my happiness because this is going to happen. No, 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 no. That's not how it works. You find your happiness by waking up in the morning and being joyful about your morning, being joyful that you're here, being joyful of the future, of what the possibilities of magic can bring into your life. You awaken to the spiritual world and the spirit world around you, helping you, guiding you, gently nudging you in the right direction, whispering in your ear that, here, go here, do this. It's about trusting in each footstep you take. It doesn't matter where you go. You go this way, you go that way. It doesn't matter because you're going to end up in the same place. So go there, go there, go there. You'll still end up there. So you will always end up in a positive and more amazing place each step that you take. You will grow every day, but you will slip. But because you will slip, you will get back up and realize that, oh, okay, I, oh, I felt that. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Positivity. 
positivity, positivity. It is a constant pushing yourself in the way of positivity that brings you to a place where you look back and say, Jesus, I used to be a real pain in the ass. I used to moan at everybody. I used to tell everybody that everything was going wrong. It's miserable. I'm miserable. Everything's going to go wrong. Oh my God, I was terrible. Yes, exactly. Look at your past and see how you behave. Or even today, look at how you behave and how you project yourself to others, how you talk to people. Is it positive? Is it negative? Are you trying to bring about a new a new magic into your life? Or are you just simply living in the cesspit of worry and fear that everything's going wrong and I'm never going to be rich or I'm never going to be this or I'm never going to be that and I'm never going to be... How are you living today? What is it you want to change from your life? Because for me, I lived in the fear constantly of what people would think about me. The moment I said, you know what, finished all that. And then I projected my love and my strength and my power because I was held back by the fear of what other people would think about me. Now, who the hell cares? They don't care about me. Nobody cares about me in truth. You don't care about me. Only when you watch this, you think, oh, he's lovely. But you get on with your day. You don't think about me constantly all day. As I don't think about everybody else constantly all day. What I do is I realize I've come into this world like you. And I need to get on with my path and learn and grow and become happier. I work towards happiness. And through that, I then project this happiness to you. And you feel it and feel better. So ask yourself this question, do you project happiness? Second question, why not? You are equal to any person in this world. You're equally happier as much as I am. So why aren't you projecting it? And when you get the answer, which is normally because you're in fear, you're worrying, you, I'm not good enough, there's people better than me like you, Mark. Nonsense, nonsense, fear-based, all coming from here. And it's all because of other people putting you down. I'm here today <laughs> and you're here today for me to share this last message. You are watching this today, guys, because you are as perfect as any single soul in this world. You have more gifts inside you than any single soul in this world. There is nothing that you cannot uh, accomplish, achieve conquer in this world like any other person in this world you can be a multi-billionaire you can be a peaceful person who wants to find her calmness with what she has at this moment and remember we never own anything we only borrow it for the time we're here so things don't matter it is finding your inner peace within whatever you are wherever you are whatever you're doing the secret is being happy no matter what the circumstances. So if you're trying to achieve something in life, it isn't the achieving, it. it's not that pinnacle point where you've done it, that what is what you're aiming for. It's the in-between of getting there. How are you gonna enjoy yourself in between? Because the in-between is what you will always look back at and think, oh my God, what was I like in between? It all went right, but look at the suffering I gave myself. So I guess, that the in-between of everything we do from the moment I started this video till the end, how did you react? So when this video finishes, what are you going to do from now till New Year's Eve? How are you going to react? And you will look back and say, oh, Mark, I remember when Mark says, how did I react when his video stopped till New Year's Eve? How did that reaction, how did, I, did was it a build-up that I needed to be happy for it? Or was I happy all day long? I want you to be happy all day long, guys. There is no such thing as you being sad. Only your brain telling you you're sad. Okay? There's nothing wrong with you at all. Nothing. There is nothing wrong with you at all. You are perfect in every beautiful way. You are imperfect in every beautiful way. You are perfectly imperfect. And that's what makes you so special. So wake up today, shake off any fears and worries of your future and live in the moment and be as happy as you can like I am here now. So when I switch this off, I'm going to work on my happiness. How I do that is how I feel. I'm going to trust in everything that I do 
and whatever it is I do this day and tomorrow and the following day will be exactly as it should be. I trust in my footsteps no matter what. There is no wrong or right. If I fall, it's a lesson and I grow from it. If something beautiful happens, then I'm happy. If nothing happens, then I'm happy in the nothingness, in the peace and stillness. And that's it. That's your Christmas message from uh, Mark Bayerske. And um, good luck, guys. And hope you switch over and watch the Queen's speech and hope it's as powerful as, uh, as uh, this one was today. <laughs> okay guys have a lovely lovely time whatever you're doing take care and um, from my heart to yours thank you for subscribing to Matt Bayeski YouTube channel I really mean that have a great great time whatever you're doing today see you later bye